Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Zainab Zoratul Mawadah I would like to present about Global Marketing Communications Decisions 1 So, marketing communication tells customers about the benefits and values that a company, product, or service offers IMC or integrated marketing communications is becoming more popular because of the challenges of communicating across national borders. Before that, IMC is a strategy of how your business can communicate the same message in all marketing channels. The aim of this of the IMC strategy is to influence the general public with its promotional elements to the level of cognition, affection, and connection. Promotional elements use are usually divided into two, namely soft sell and hard sell, but overall, we would like to learn about the global advertising. First, advertising may be defined as any sponsored, paid message that is communicated in a non-personal way. Meanwhile, global advertising may be defined as <coughs> messages whose art, copy, headlines, photographs, taglines, and other elements have been developed expressly for their worldwide suitability. Let's take a look uh, at the McDonald's advertising advertisement. This uh, contain uh, contain of word, uh, contain of sentence that you saw one one. Uh, this should this could persuade the customers to buy the. Mm, value, uh, the Big Mac extra value meal of McDonald's this is called advertising so act, uh, the standardizations versus adaptation the primary issue must the specific advertising message and media strategy be changed from region to region or country to country and the second issue is about thing of cultural and legal issues. The 18 years old in Paris have more in common with 18 years old in New York than with their own parents. They buy the same products, go to the same movies, listen to the same music, sip the same colas. Global advertising merely works on that premise. From William Rudy, a director of MTV Europe. Communications experts generally agree that the overall requirements of effective communication and persuasion are fixed and do not vary, do not vary from country to country. Proponents of the one word, one voice approach to global advertising believe that the era of the global village has arrived and that, uh, and that tests and preferences are converging worldwide. According to the standardization argument people everywhere want the same products for the same reason uh, this means that companies can achieve significant ec economies of scale by unifying advertising around the globe but advertisers who prefer the localized approach are skeptical of the global village argument instead they are uh, they agree that consumers still differ from country to country and must be reached by advertising that connect to the to their respective countries proponents of localization point out that mass blunders occur because advertisers have failed to understand and adapt to foreign cultures and then uh, for the standardization versus adaptation problems there are four difficulties that compromise uh, an organization's communicate communications efforts first is Deliverance to the intended audience, it means that the message may not get through the to the intended recipient. And then there is there is comprehension, that means that the message may reach the target audience but may not be understood or may even be mis misunderstood. And then next is no, no strong call to action. This means uh, the message may reach the target audience and may be understood but still may not induce the recipient to take the action desired by the sender. And, la and last is noise. The effectiveness of the message can be impaired by noise. And then there is advertising agencies, organizations and brands. 
The term organizations umbrella uh, is about umbrella corporations or holding companies that have one or more core advertising agencies. Each organization has unite specializing and then the individual agencies are considered as brands, full services, brands create advertising and provide service such as market research, media buying and direct marketing. And then uh, creating the global advertising. First strategy is creative strategy, like w- a statement or concept of what a particular message or campaign will say. Like Coca Cola does, uh, Coca Cola have the tagline "Test the feelings." And then for the big idea, the big idea is the bridge between an an advertising strategy and and an image powerful and lasting the theory of the big idea assumes that average consumers are uh, at best bored and more likely irrational when it comes to deciding what to buy the message uh, is at the heart of advertising the particular message and the way it is presented will depend on the advertiser's objective is the ad designed to inform entertain remind or persuade Moreover, in a word characteristics character characterized by information overload, advertising must must break through the clutter, grab the audience attention, and ling- linger the in their minds. Just take a look uh, at the Coca Cola advertisement. This um, shows that it means that maybe. Coca Cola is really, um, is really fresh. And then for advertising appeal, ration uh, it has rational approach and emotional approach. Depend on logic and speak to the consumers in the like based on the consumers need for information. And then for the emotional approach. Uh, talks at the hurt string or, or use humor like brah on the coca cola advertisement <laughs> and then um, advertising appeal selling proportion creative execution the promise or claim that captures the reason for buying the product or the benefit that ownership confers like coca cola open happiness and then so on Creative execution, the way an appeal or proposition is presented, strike cell, scientific evidence, demonstration, comparison, slice of life, animation, fantasy, dramatization. And then, uh, take a look at the art directors and art directions. The difference are art, di- art directors is advertising professional who has the general responsibility for the overall look of an ad, <clears throat> and then will choose graphics, pictures, type styles, and other visual elements that appear in an advertisement. And then for the art direction is the visual presentation of an advertisement. And then we move to the cultural considerations between Japanese and American American differences. Tamotsuki si de- identified seven characteristic that several characteristics that distinguish Japanese from American creative strategy. Like an indirect rather than direct forms of expression are preferred in the message and then there is often little relationship between uh, advertisement content and the advertised product. And then, they only brief di- dialogue or narration is used in television commercials with minimal explanatory content. And then, they use humor to create a bond of mutual feelings. F- a famous celebrity appeared as close acquaint- acquaintance or everyday people. And the product name is Im- impressed of- on the viewer with short uh, like about 15 second commercials and then there are global media decisions first is 
prepare new copy for foreign foreign markets in host country's language and then leave some or all copy elements in home country language and then last is translate the original copy into target language move to the public relations and publicity <clears throat> PR can, can be defined as building good relations with the company's various publics by obtaining favorable publicity, building up a good corporate image and handling or heading of unfavorable rumors, stories, and events. Public relations is the department or function responsible for evaluating public opinion about and attitudes toward the organization and its product and brands. Public relations personnel uh, also are responsible for fostering goodwill and then understanding and acceptance among a company's various constitu- constitu- constituents and publics. Like advertising, public relations is one of four variables in the promotion mix. One of the tasks of the PR practitioners is to generate favorable publicity. By definition, publicity is communication about a company or product for which the company does not pay. And then for the tools are news releases, media kits, press conferences, tours, articles in trade and professional journals, TV and radio talk show appearance, and special events. And then move to the the growing role of public relations in global marketing. Public relations expenditures are growing at an average of 20% per year. In India, they are reported to be growing by 200% annually. And public relations professional with international responsibility must go beyond media relations and serve as more than a company mouthpiece. They are called point to simultaneously build cons- consensus and understanding, create trust and harmony, articulate and influence public opinion, anticipate conflicts and resolve disputes. As companies become more involved in global marketing and the globalization of industry continues, uh, company management must recognize the value of international public relations. Uh, reason for the growth is increased governmental relations between countries, technology, and societal issues like the environmental. Next is about public relations practice around the world. Public relations practice can be affected by cultural traditions, social and political context, economic re- economic environments, and then public relations professionals must understand this differences and tailor the message appropriately. Mass media and the written word are important vehicles for information dissemination in many de- industri- industrialized countries. In, de- in developing countries, however, the best way to m- communicate w- might be through the town cry, the market square, or the safe courts in Ghana. Dance, songs, and storytelling are important communication channels. In India, where half, where half of the population cannot read, writing press release will not be the most effective way to communicate. And in Turkey, the practice of PR is thriving in spite of, the, of that country's reputation of, for harsh treatment of political pr- prisoners. Although the Turkish Government still asserts ab- absolute control as it has for generations. Corporate PR and journalism are allowed to allowed to flourish so that tar- uh, Turkish organizations can compete globally. Even in industrialist countries, there are some important differences between PR practice. In the United States, much of the news in a small Local newspaper is placed by means of the hometown news release. PR is increase, increasingly viewed as a separate management function. And in Canada, on the other hand, large mer- metropolitan population centers have combined with Canadian economic and 
climatic conditions to thwart the emergence of a local press, the dirt of small newspapers means that the practice of sending out hometown news release is almost non-existent. And then, last in Europe, that perspective has not been widely accepted. PR professionals are viewed as part of the marketing function rather than as distinct and separate specialists in a company. So that from me, uh, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.